Hi, so this is Christine's Blooming Rose, and this is the mechanism that I used for uh, closing the rose and opening the rose. That's a uh, nine, you know, your bottom of the barrel um, <laughs> fake Tower Pro uh, servo, but it uh, doesn't need to be accurate, and it doesn't need to go fast, and it doesn't need to have a lot of torque. It just needs to move, so it does that pretty well. Um, so that is extended, and then that's retract. As just pulling on the fishing line, which uh, um, you know tensions the uh, the rose part. And I've got two dot star modules down here, which are aimed up into the stem Oof. focus into the stem um, they can't be directly on the end so I got two of them to compensate then I've got uh, two more dot star modules here there's one aimed down the stem and one aimed out this light pipe and then I've got take that off of there so you can see I've got one more dot star module showing through the bottom set of petals there. And then I've got, it's gonna be in the other mode, six more dot star modules um, in the uh, top of the rows, just aimed out. And uh, this extra piece in the center beyond the petals to make a little bit of a diffuser and kind of item. So each one of these is printed and then molded. Uh, this is printed and then heat molded like this. This is printed and then heat molded like that. And this is printed with a wire underneath it and then heat molded to look like this. Um, I do have two channels of touch sense here. I'm only uh, able to use one right now because of how I wound it up the stem. They both trigger the same action. So, so I'm supposed to have, uh, let's see, I'm supposed to have uh, uh, supposed to have two channels um, in that this one is supposed to open and close it, but then there's a second wire that went up to the rows that supposed to change the color but now they're tied together because of how I when I sent them up the stem I wound them around the ground wire but I wound them around the same ground wire so uh, now the signals are tied together so even though I've got two separate channels of cap sense going into my uh, Arduino here it only shows up as one but I'm just gonna leave it because you know it's good enough um, this is designed to be the same size as this little vase I had. Um, but I also made a, a 3D printable uh, base for this. It's about this big. You know, you probably have to put some weight in it to keep from tipping over. But uh, in the event, you know, you don't want to <laughs> go find one of these. Um, you know, you can just print your own base. That's about it. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, see you around.